What's up guys, Steve here with SS Airsoft and we have Cliff with Elite Force back in the house. He's here every time. You guys know him. He's world famous by now. What is up? Got a Glad lot of here. cool new stuff coming out. Yep. We're just going to hide this for a minute while we talk about all the little stuff we got up here. <laughs> and then we get to the big one? All right. Yeah. That's a good idea. That's okay. a good idea. So tell us about all the new stuff you have coming out. Um, so some of the stuff was supposed to be released last year, but obviously with all everything going on in the world, it just didn't make it. Um, so we got some good stuff coming out here in May, June, and July. Uh, a couple things in the fall coming out this year, too. Um, first thing I want to go over is the 416. So we released an HK 416A5 Polymer Edition um, at SHOT Show. This one's going to be half the price of uh, BFC. So coming around that 250 mark instead of that uh, 550 mark uh, where the BFCs are coming in at now. Uh, a couple cool features about these, uh, they're going to have a special MOSFET in there with an LED light um, that basically shows when the battery gets low, it'll start beeping at you and warning you to, to turn the gun off so you're not damaging the gun or the, the battery. That's awesome. It's a very cool feature. Um, and we did a little pan over of that, so we'll show you guys and insert that for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was really important for us too. Like, you know, we spent a long time investing in the 416 and just the high end model, and everyone wants it as like the Gucci rifle. Right. Uh, but there's a lot of people who just can't afford a $550 gun. So, we're trying to come with something that was solid, felt really solid, but had a couple cool new features um, that we hadn't offered yet. And it's a good looking gun and it feels great for you guys. I personally like to run a polymer gun just for the, the weight and mm -hmm. this fits it and you still have that awesome cool 416 look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, and we took some time to do some extra features on it. We may try to make it as ambient as possible and everything like that, like the real one. Um, but obviously, most of it is polymer. Uh, the parts where it needed to be metal, it had to be metal. We made right, it metal. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, so that's one. Uh, our Smith and Wesson, Smith and Wesson line, uh, our compact shield, gas blowback, um, and the full size uh, standard M&P and performance center gas blowback, um, all will release this summer. Um, these are all BFC OEM'd. Uh, the Performance Center and the Standards will take interchangeable mags. Uh, the Compact will have a proprietary mag. So we'll have two Compacts, well, the, the Glock 42 that we just released and the Smith & Wesson Shield cast pullback. Uh, that's a lot for the, the guys that are like firearm guys that want something to that's probably a similar to the size that yeah, they carry. I mean, that's or, the same thing you throw in your pocket and walk around. That, exactly. that little 42 is like incredible and yep. you know I don't know, people feel like it's not as powerful because it's small or something, but man, yep. does this shoot cool, it's awesome. Yep. And, and I, I like small gun. When I carry, I carry a small gun. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think a lot of the guys that are buying this, not just so much to game, you know, they're coming in and they're they're wanting something to replicate what they really carry, right. what they really own. Um, they're probably going to gravitate to one of these compact guns, to be honest with you. No doubt. I, you lo I love them. And we would have had more compacts out, but over the years we've, we've experienced so many issues with the small magazines and the gas flow and the guns getting them to cycle right, but we worked a lot of those issues out. Um, they'd released the Glock 42 a couple years before we did, uh, but the, the returns were terrible and there was a lot of issues with it. And it is still kind of finicky. Um, and if you understand the pistol and the and you know the science behind it and what you're dealing with, right. um, they work pretty well. I, the first thing I did when I pulled that Glock 42 out of the box was shove it in my pocket. <laughs> yep. <laughs> because of the golf, you know, it's so small, and that's exactly, you know, a lot of people carry them that way. Yeah, I would love small to, your bag. I'd love to know how many Glock 42 and 43s are actually owned by people in the United States. Because I, I, I know it's the largest probably in any, anywhere in the world for right. people that carry that, that really subcompact gun. Right. But, you know, that's definitely a whole other crowd of customers, yes. for sure. Uh, then we just released the Smith & Wesson uh, nickel electroplated 5-inch uh, field revolver. Um, I don't know if you guys saw this, but we have it in like a blued version in the Dirty Harry 8-inch, but it's not field legal anywhere. So we had, <laughs> I had to do something a little, <laughs> a little bit smaller that's field legal and everywhere. So it's like 345 FPS. Um, so pretty much every field in the country right. you'll be able to legal out. And then I have a little snub nose 3-inch. It's black as well. Yeah. Um, but that gives us that fills us out on our Smith and Wesson M29 line. The real M29s are so expensive. I think like the eight and a half inch is like fifteen hundred dollars. Wow! 
So, I mean, again, that's another customer that might want an M29 replica that, you so know, just could never, never bought a real one. Or right. you can't afford a real one. Right. Um, the CO2 powered KWC Performance out, uh, Center is actually going to be made by KWC, the same company that we use to make our reliable 1911s. Um, we wanted a CO2 powered version. You guys have seen our normal Smith & Wesson MP full size. This accepts the same mag, but it has the Performance Center upper. Right. which has all your slide port cuts, your extended sights, uh, your threaded barrel, everything like that, which obviously we understand when the, in a day of tracers being so valuable and <laughs> tracer units being so valuable and everyone wants to shoot a tracer, more and more guns that we come out with in the future are going to have threaded barrels. No doubt. Uh, the Legacy Edition has been out for a few weeks. Um, we basically took uh, our number one selling 1911, which is the tan frame lower, we took a limited edition slide from a few years ago. We reinforced it a couple places where we had some issues. Um, redid the slide and then included extended mag with a custom box and a custom patch. And we released uh, just 1,200 of them here in the United States. So I think there's probably, you know, what you got here in your store and that's about it. I mean, there's not a lot left floating around. Yeah, you know, I don't know, Cliff, how many of those 1911s I've sold in my time, but as far as like when somebody comes to me and they want their first gas blowback pistol, that's where I go. That's, I mean, my son shot that pistol for four and a half years every weekend, every weekend when he played here. Mm -hmm. And it just runs like a clock. So if somebody comes up and goes, I want a reliable gun or I want an accurate gun, that's where I take it. Yep. That is the gold standard for me on what a gas, gas blowback pistol should be like. Now a little history behind the 1911 series uh, when Andy Green was working with me, I'm sure you guys remember Andy Green. <laughs> Dude! Um, our thing was we wanted a field legal CO2 1911. It didn't exist at that time. And we went out and we said, okay, we want to do one. We want to do one that's field legal. What can we do different? At that time, there was no two-tone CO2 1911s on the market. So we went with the tan frame so everyone knew it was the Elite Force 1911. And we redesigned the valve to make it where even on a hot day, you weren't smoking on smoking above the field limits <laughs> right. and then we just kind of expanded on it and since then i bet we've had nine ten generations of changes and improvements we just keep improving them making them better and, and they're uh, solid and we have rebuild kits for anything that wears and tear you know has wear and tear and goes out over time like you can pretty pretty much rebuild it from start to finish that's one good thing that you guys i don't know if you all know but elite force makes a rebuild kit for almost all their magazines and almost all their guns and it is fabulous that if you want to have a gun two, three, four years, and it's time to update it or even rebuild it, put new seals in it, they have the kits to do that. And you're pretty much the only company I know out there doing that. And it works great for all you field owners out there, too, that are interested in selling this stuff, because now you can fix and repair stuff for people. Yep. And like a pro shop like yourself is going to stock all the rebuild kits. So if someone comes in and they're just inside their warranty or just a hair outside a few day, 30 days or 60 days inside their warranty, we authorize you guys to be like, hey, you know what? They'll take care of me, and we'll re just replace your rebuild right. kit, give you the parts, and get you back going. You know, and like, there's not a lot of companies doing that. I mean, obviously, I think it's really smart, super smart. Yeah, and the more and you you hear some people talk bad about the Elite Force 19 it's just because we sold more than everyone. Dude, absolutely. I like, don't know how many I've sold. I said that again, but I know that it's a couple truckloads of those things I've yeah, sold it's gotta be right out of this one shop. So it's got to be over 300,000 units at this point. It's, I have it's no crazy. idea, but again, you know, to me, out of all of the pistols in the counter, and I've shot a lot of them, this one shoots as accurate as a rifle and as solid as anything I've ever shot. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just, this gun works. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of lines have one gun that is like, that's the gun, and for your line, to me, that's the gun. Well, we knew when Andy and I were working together, we knew we had, for us, to, for Elite Force as a brand to really take off without just doing licensed stuff, we needed a few things that were really going to stick and do well, and, and we went for high-quality BBs and 1911s, and that's really kind of where Elite Force built its name here in the United States. Well, they work for us. For Let's sure. talk about this big man, Mo yes. Mo Mo Mo. So we've been working on this CO2 tri-shot shotgun. Uh, when I say tri-shot, it's not that it has three barrels, it has one barrel, but it's three shot burst only. Semi-auto, no pumping. Take your Tokyo Murray shells. Uh, in here it comes with, uh, I believe, 12 shells. Um, wow. 
but it, it, we actually just checked this in your shop a few little bit ago with the, the tap adapter where you can run an M4 uh, mag adapter into <laughs> this CO2 shotgun and it's field legal. Um, it's so I think you're coming in about 320, so 320, 330. So pretty much no matter where you're at in the country, you can play field legal. I think it looks banging too. And I, I love the, the six position stock on the back. Where's the CO2 going? Uh, it goes in the uh, buffer tube. Is it one CO2? Two, two CO2s. Two. Mm -hmm. So how, how many rounds will you get out of that typically? Um, to be honest, I don't know off the top of my head. I know it's quite a few. I think you can probably shoot all the shells that come with it okay. um, on one CO2. Uh, for the most part, we were going to do a semi shot and a tri shot. Um, we had to kind of cancel the whole semi idea just because if you went to semi, there was no way to control the valve to prevent that much more air going into it, okay. which would make it illegal in most fields. So we wanted a field gameable shotgun. Uh, and there's really not a lot of CO2 options out there, especially anything that's really light and very gameable. Yeah, this thing is solid as a rock, but it's a little bit lighter than you would expect. It looks it looks hefty, but it, it feels solid, but it's not real heavy. Mm -hmm. And it's, it just is a solid piece. I love it. I can, when, when will this be on the market? Uh, should be end of July. Okay. End of July. You know, guys, we'll have them because I love it. I think it's beautiful. Yep. So let's talk about the great white elephant in the room. Oof. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. MG4. So this bad boy is OEM by BFC. We've been working on it with BFC for about four years now, a little over four years. Dude, this thing is one incredible piece. Um, Fit the finish, how it looks, how it feels, it's, it's incredible. I don't know any other way to say it. Tell them how this thing holds BBs for days. So, internally, there is a 800 round reservoir. Uh, you can run it. 800 rounds inside the gun. So if you don't want to run that big box mag or whatever, you can just run just the gun. Um, but if you want to add the box mag, uh, it adds another 5,000 rounds to your experience. So, 5,800 rounds. So you can't even buy enough BBs in one bag to fill this up. you got to have to buy two bags when you go play. Yeah, absolutely. It's 5,800 rounds. Mm-hmm. And, and, it's, and it's actually <laughs> I guess not, you can put a monster battery in here, so you're going to run all yes. day. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so we did it back here, so you have plenty of battery space. Um, you can kind of run every, whatever battery you want. Um, Really, to be honest with you, like the CNC aluminum makes it, it looks really, really heavy, but if you pick it up compared to any other uh, LMG like this, it's actually pretty light because it's all CNC aluminum. It's CNC aluminum, but that's what adds to the realism and how it looks mm -hmm. just ungodly beautiful to me. I mean, again, we're going to do a pan over so we can show it to you guys, but the fit and finish on the gun, which is something I'm about. It looks fantastic. And the detail that BFC went into all the little parts and all the little components. The rivets that are all down the side. Every everything. little thing on there mimics 100% what the real MG4 looks like. Dude, they're solid. And this will be out when? Uh, October, best case scenario. <laughs> best, well, case. best case scenario. We're, we're going to leave it at that. Is this going to be a limited edition thing or is this uh, going to be forever? No, we'll probably bring a few every year uh, because it's a high price point. Uh, these are going to retail at thirteen ninety nine. Um, <laughs> yes. Hey, you want to be cool? Comes with There's a one, price. Year, one year warranty, so as long as you keep it stock and if you, something goes wrong with it, you can send it in, we'll rebuild it. If we can't rebuild it, we'll send you a brand new one. So one year warranty. I mean, there's a price to that, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when there's you're just quality, like, that's you why. Know, you know, you hear about these guys releasing these six, seven, eight hundred dollar guns that are these real custom, cool niche guns, but they have tons of issues with them, and there is no support for them. Right. So if you're going to drop that type of coin, that much money, you at least know you're buying something. You got you're, someone's got your back, and you're getting something that's just solid and looks beautiful. Again, we'll do a pan over so we can show it to you, but. Even the way that locks in, it's got a cantilever on it. It's just beautiful, guys. Absolutely. Fantastic. So, Elite Force coming at you with a whole lot of new cool stuff for the, the year. So, it's going to be an exciting year. And I think Airsoft is completely getting revitalized again. And I love seeing it. So, it's because of stuff like this that you guys are doing and other companies are doing just, just to put some spark back in it. Absolutely. We've seen a lot of new people pick up Airsoft in the last couple of years. Oh, yeah. It's like our old clientele's changed over. Yep, absolutely. And then all those guns that everyone was like, oh, that's been out forever. That's brand new to a lot of people now. Right, right. And, and the new top, stuff and trickling the new stuff in. Just trickling in helps all the people that's been in it forever. That's right. You know? That's right. And that's what happens. We got guys that's been coming here four, five, six years, and when they see something new, oh, let me see that, let me see that. 
you know. Yep. They just love the new stuff. So Absolutely. I think it's fantastic. Elite Force is bringing you guys a quality product. They're a fantastic company to do business with. And Cliff, I appreciate you and your company and everything you do. You guys will leave all the links in the description below. Please go check them out. If you've never shot an Elite Force gun, do yourself a favor and go do that today. And oh yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs>